Hey guys, my name is Dave. Welcome to another video. So, I've had a lot going through my head as of late. Um, as you guys already know, I just got, I recently got a new roommate. I'm planning on not staying in this room for much longer, like a few months, and then moving into a private room. It'd be like the third move within a year. <laughs> um... I'm kind of working things out as far as relationship stuff goes, which at this point I'm going to keep on the download because I talked about a lot of it already. Um, but there's a lot going on. One thing, though, that I should point out that I do kind of want to talk about in this video, something that has always like been kind of a morale, I guess, or at least something that I've... Um, decided on for myself is how I approach the outcome of relationships. Generally, I'm not the kind of person to hate on somebody and end up in like a hateful end relationship outcome, if that makes sense. Normally what I personally like to do, or I hope to do, not like, hope to do, is create still some kind of close bond with who whomever I end up parting with. And I'm not just, actually, in this case, I'm not just talking about relationships. Friendships, um, co-workers, ex-classmates, you name it. I try to make it a point to keep in touch in some kind of way. Good example of this would be my, someone who, who was my high school best friend who doesn't really keep in touch with any anymore just because I think he misinterpreted something I was trying to say to him. But I'm going to refer to him as Panda because that was his nickname back then. He and I were very close friends. We stayed that way for quite some time. However, I reached out to him one day, apparently, and offended him unintentionally by saying that I was bored. There was not really anybody to talk to at the moment. I, I guess in saying that, I, I guess I said, I think I was meaning to say one thing, but I ended up saying something else. Um, however, I, 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 I don't know. Um, it, it's interesting how this kind of stuff works out for me most of the time. Either way, that's one of very few situations where um, the outcome is just basically we just kind of cut each other off. But most uh, good examples of the better outcomes are, weirdly enough, actually my relationships. Now, eventually some of them do end up getting cut off, but not because not by force or anything. Or no, yes, by force but it's not intentional. That's the phrasing I meant to say. It's, it's weird. Like, most of the time when I part with people, at least in one way or the other, keep in touch. But I guess one notable one would be my... A, a, a co-worker of mine who I had when I was living in Arizona before I moved where I am now. Um... Arizona is probably, from what I've experienced, one of the hottest places in the United States. Uh, but it's definitely not even close to one of the hottest places in the world, I can say that much. But at least in the U.S. It's actually very humid, too. But I actually met one of my favorite co-workers there, who... When I parted with the job to move up here, I kept in touch with them for quite some time. However, recently I haven't heard from them, but we kept good notes of each other. It was left off on a good note, which is one of the reasons why I actually do try to keep in touch, because I always want these kind of things to end off on a good note. Breakoffs, leaving a job by force, a break up in a relationship, none of those are really good leave-offs. However, if by force you're, if you're forced to stop talking with somebody, um, but the last thing you talked to them about was very good, in that case, yes. 
Um, I would ra much rather leave off a situation like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a bit naive? Or do you think that it's more beneficial? Let me know in the comments below. What are your guys' thoughts on this kind of thing uh, as a whole, anyway? Um, if you do like what I had to say on this, though, uh, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't sit anymore. If you like this kind of live stuff, or you like me talking about this type of stuff, uh, first of all, consider subscribing to the channel, because I do one of these every single day. And secondly, make sure to click one of the links on the sides of my head. What, this one here should be me talking about random topics, kind of like this one. The one over here should be stuff about me. Whether it's a story about my past or personality traits. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.